Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Today is Monday, June 7th, 2021. And we're doing our real estate note talk uh, this evening. Uh, what we do is try to come on here each Monday night, 7.30 p.m., for roughly 20 to 30 minutes, and we discuss real estate note investing. Um, we try to cover a certain topic uh, within real estate note investing and talk about it a little bit, and hopefully, you know, the information will have people asking questions, maybe doing some research on their own, and uh, looking into this uh, real estate investing strategy. So tonight, uh, we're going to be focusing on why invest in real estate notes. Uh, there's a few different reasons that we're going to kind of go through and talk about. And uh, hopefully it'll pique some people's interest, kind of starting at the beginning. And then we'll just kind of go a little bit deeper each week as the series continues. So uh, if you watch the replay of this, uh, you can catch us here Monday night. Uh, 730 uh, with this information we're also on Thursday at 730 p.m. as well uh, on that day we cover uh, retirement accounts and investing how you can use a retirement account to invest uh, so if you're somebody that has a retirement account and would like to see it uh, perform a little bit better maybe put it into some different type of investments uh, that's what we talk about on Thursdays um, at 7.30. Um, so uh, what I've been doing now, a little change that we did here was that we try to open up each of these with a scripture um, that talks about and references something in terms of investing or money. Um, so, you know, a lot of times we talk about money and, you know, the love of money and Going after money can be seen as a bad thing a lot of times, but, you know, the Bible does talk about money a lot and has a lot of good information on it. So we try to open up with a uh, scripture. So today's uh, scripture is Proverbs 27 and 23. So this says, in their hearts, humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps. So, you know, this talks about planning, investing is part of planning. Uh, so, like I said, we want to bring out, you know, some of the scriptures that talk about uh, money in, in a positive way, in a good way to make people feel as though, you know, that it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. You know, God definitely wants us um, to have money and to have the best of everything. So, so Proverbs 27 and 23 is be diligent to know the state of your flocks and attend to your herds. So being diligent and, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, Proverbs 16 and 9, I'm sorry. It's in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. So, you know, as humans, we need to plan our course, and then obviously God will establish our steps, but the planning part of it, the investing part of it is something that is left up to us. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to get into why invest in real estate notes. Um, the first reason I have here is uh, low risk and high yield. Uh, with real estate notes, um, well, let me start from the very beginning. Uh, for people who haven't, you know, followed me or seen a video that I've done, um, you can invest in real estate notes. A note is basically an IOU. It will spell out the terms of a loan that was made to you, basically the interest rate, uh, the amount of time you have to pay back the loan, how much you have to pay back, and when that payment is due. And then you have what's called a security agreement. Uh, in this part of the country, in the Northeast here in New Jersey, uh, we use a mortgage. Uh, other states, they call the security agreement something else. Uh, we'll get into some of the other names, you know, in other uh, videos. But just know that the note or the IOU goes along with a security agreement. So that means if you do not follow what's in this IOU, the security agreement 
gives the bar gives the lender a way to protect their loan and that is the property itself um, so those two things go hand in hand so now when we talk about low risk high yield the fact that you have a security agreement you have something that can cure the loan that you made in case someone doesn't pay it back you have a physical asset that you can then go sell or you know put somebody else into it you can rent it out the property you can go rent it you can do a number of different things which is one of the things that we'll talk about as well is the different exit strategies uh, later on as well so the reason why we say low risk and high yield is because you can minimize your risk in this because you know ultimately if something does go wrong I can get this property back and then be able to do certain things to recruit my investment and <clears throat> because we buy uh, real estate notes at a discount whatever is in that IOU in terms of a interest rate like right now interest rates are like below three or right at three percent normally in the notes that we buy they're going to be higher than that um, because uh, most of the times they're written by other investors or even if they're written by a bank, you'll see some in there that are uh, originated at 3%. But because we're buying at a reduced rate of what's owed on that, that interest rate, your, your yield goes up automatically. Um, so, like I said, low risk, you get a higher yield than what is on that note on that IOU. The IOU may say it's 3% that you're paying every month, uh, $1,000 a month for the next uh, 360 months. As soon as we buy it, that 3% now goes to 5, goes to 6. Just depending on the amount of discount that you purchase it at, that yield could go up to 10, 12, 14% or higher. Uh, so that's what we mean when we say uh, low risk and high yield. The second reason is it's, um, you know, secured by the real estate. Um, we have this actual physical asset that we can go back and take, um, take ownership of if something goes wrong. Um, now you have the, you own this particular asset, you can go ahead and sell it, you can re-rent it. Um, you can do a number of other things. You can create a new note and security agreement on it for somebody else. So you'll start collecting, um, you know, those payments. So, you know, how many investments get secured by a physical asset? We don't get that with stocks. Um, I think maybe gold is the, or um, gold or um, coins and things of that nature. That's a physical asset. But most of the time, when you invest in something. There's not a lot, there's not too many investments that have a physical asset that is backed by that investment that you make. So that's the second reason why. Now, this creates income as well as wealth. The reason why we say income, because you get those payments that are spelled out in that IOU, those now come to you. And typically, um, these are written at 360 months, which is 30 years, uh, 240 months, which is, I think, 20 years, 180 months. So you have a long time to collect these payments. So you get that money every month coming in. And then it also can build wealth because uh, you can, when you get these properties back, like I said, when you take them back, if something goes wrong, then obviously you have this asset that can add to your you know, overall wealth if you do own these. Um, we'll talk about the different types of notes that you can buy and what you can do with them. But you'll see your overall wealth increase because, um, you know, the each month that this money is coming in, the loan is getting paid down. A lot of times the, um, the value of the property is going up. Now that's the equity for the homeowner and not necessarily for the person owning the note. 
but you can create wealth uh, based on the different notes that you buy. Uh, you can acquire these at deep discounts. Again, just depending on what type of note that you buy. Um, you can buy a, there's two types pretty much, performing and non-performing. Um, so, you know, sub-performing kind of goes into the non-performing uh, category. Uh, that basically means that somebody has made maybe two, three payments, maybe skip one, maybe next four or five payments and skip one, something like that. Um, so you can buy performing or non-performing. Now you can get the non-performing at deep discounts. Like right now, with everything that's going on, there's really no foreclosures. Um, a lot of investors who are trying to buy uh, discounted real estate are having a hard time because of the market and how much you know people are paying for properties. You can actually get these uh, before they become a foreclosed property. So you're jumping the line, so to speak, by buying these non-performing notes and you're going to get them at a significant discount because the person, the homeowner in there is not paying. And then again, you can buy uh, performing, which you still buy at a certain discount based on uh, the value of the property. Uh, another reason, uh, you know, with the DP discounted banks have moved away from foreclosing um, back in 2010 you know banks took back a lot of properties and ever since then that's not something that they really want to do again and so what you've seen is that anytime the banks start getting high numbers of non-performing notes or notes that have you know a shaky pay history they package these up and then they sell them off and just take the lump sum of money so then they can go and do what it is that they want to do with these millions and millions of dollars that they collected for a bunch of these loans that they sold off as opposed to foreclosing on them, all the costs that come with that, having to manage all of these properties and, you know, then get them sold after they've been foreclosed on. The banks have just been, you know, selling the notes. Um, so that kind of goes into what, you know, is, is going on right now and pretty much what the banks are probably going to do um, with a lot of these properties that have been forbearance and people haven't been paying for, you know, more than six months, up to a year or even longer in some cases. So this is where, you know, that there's some opportunity that is going on right now as well as, you know, into the future. So another reason uh, it can be... Uh, purchased in your retirement account. As I talked about earlier on Thursdays, we talked more about how to do this type of investing and other types of investing within your retirement account. Again, because you have 100 payments, 125, 200 payments that you're going to collect, that's down the line. And this retirement account that you have is for later on in life. Um, you can have these set up in your kids' names, set them up. Um, put some money maybe in a, in a uh, retirement account for them and then use that money uh, to invest in these notes. Because again, children, you know, they're usually younger, most likely they have a long time. Uh, you can start to, to build up their retirement account when they're younger and also get them in the habit uh, showing them how you can invest and use this, this money here uh, to make it grow. Maybe you can retire early, you know, if you, start them off young enough and make it good at it, you know, maybe they don't have to work until they're 65 or something like that. They don't want to because um, they'll have grown this account uh, significantly. So, um, you know, that's a tremendous advantage and there's a lot of tax advantages through the retirement accounts as well. And that's what we talk about on Thursday nights um, when it comes to the IRAs. Um, you know, we, we go over uh, tax benefits and all the things that you can do. So. You know, if you're interested in that, come check us out on um, Thursday at 7.30. Um, we can actually broker, quote-unquote broker, not... In order to broker a note, um, be a mortgage broker, you have to have a license. So that's just a figure of speech broker. 
But basically what you can do is you can find a note, find somebody that has some money looking to get a certain investment and kind of put them together and you can make a fee doing that. That is what we do. That's what we are trying to do more of with, you know, people who see this video. You know, we'd like to get you into something that's going to get you a higher rate of return um, for your money. And we can make a fee within that. You get the return that you're looking for. The seller obviously sells the note and they get the cash that they're looking for. And then me as the person in the middle, there's a fee there. And all the fees, there's no flat fee. The fee, the fee uh, will depend on the transaction. Um, so, you know, you can make fee income, you know, doing this. And then the last, and you know, the last reason that I'm going to say is with buying notes, there's no landlord responsibilities and you do not have the liability that you have when you are a landlord. There's none of that. So all those people who own homes, when something happens inside of your house, do you call Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo? No. People who buy notes are now the bank. You're not having to, you know, deal with all of that. Somebody slips and falls on the property, that's not your, that has nothing to do with you. That payment still comes each and every month and it comes directly to you. And that to me is truly a passive or about as close to as passive income uh, investment that you're going to make. If you are the landlord, you have to, you know, toilet breaks or something happens, something happens to the floor, the wall. They got to call you. You have to send somebody out, go yourself and fix it or whatever the case may be. With notes, you don't have to do that. Plus, you get that monthly cash flow. So, I just think that that is like, I think it's worth it. I mean, maybe if you want to keep one or two rentals. But if you're somebody that has several rentals, you may want to think about creating notes on them. Um, so you don't have to, you know, deal with all of these tenants and things like that. You actually get better people in the properties because they are homeowners. You know, they are actually owners of the property when you create a note on it. Um, they usually take care of the properties better. And then if something does happen, uh, because you're the bank, you can uh, maybe rework the numbers for them, you know, redo the terms on the note for them uh, and things of that nature. So. You have a, uh, a lot more things that you can do uh, as opposed to just having to evict someone and somebody staying there and playing the system and, and things of that nature. So, you know, I thought that that was like really big. That's why I saved it for last. You know, those landlord responsibilities and those liabilities are no, no longer, you know, they are on the actual um, homeowner to deal with all that stuff. So those are... Just a few reasons why to invest in notes. So, you know, like I said, if you're watching this on the replay, if you could like and share, uh, we appreciate it. Um, if maybe, you know, this wasn't for you or you don't think it is for you, that's fine. Maybe it is for somebody else. So if you could, you know, uh, share this uh, with your friends, family, colleagues, coworkers, I would truly appreciate that. If you want to talk, um, about this, please reach out to me at 973-475-8488 or you can email me at acg at abundantcapitalgroup.com. We're on all the social medias, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube is at Abundant Capital Group. Uh, you can go on to the, the, the YouTube channel. There's a lot of videos I have on there. I think over 30 videos in regards to this topic and, and other things that I've talked about. Um, but if you want, you know, to, to have a conversation and ask some questions based on what you heard here, uh, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you, see if we can, uh, you know, bring this strategy to you and help you, uh, you know, build wealth. So with that being said, that's going to be it for tonight. And like I said, we'll be back on Thursday. I think that's June 11th. Uh, I think that's June 10th, actually. 
Uh, we'll be back June 10th at 7.30 p.m. Um, so, you know, join us. Well, we're talking about how to use your IRA. I think that a lot of people have money in IRAs that they really, really should be using for this opportunity, for the opportunity that's now and the one that is coming up um, to increase, you know, their wealth and their retirement account for later on. All right, everyone. Everybody have a good night, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.